Hello and welcome to Tippy Tuesday. So today, tip is how to open a tin with no tin opener. So have you ever gone out to the old um, woods and sort of gone out backpacking, you bought a tin, you didn't realise you've got a ring pull on it, you think, oh, that, that's no issue, I've got a pen knife inside my bag, so, um, which was Swiss Army blade or anything like that, you can open up a tin, and then finally find out you forget that as well, or you forget to pack the old trusty tin opener, you think, well how on earth am I going to open up this tin? You could get the old faithful survival knives out yeah, and start hacking at it, but the chance of that, that's quite dangerous, you can make it dangerous, you can, you can slip, you can miss, you can ruin your knife, you can ruin the food, you can lose your contents of the food. Yeah, so even the old trusty knife sometimes can be a bit of an issue when you're trying to hack into actual the tin itself. So, how do we do it? That is the big question. Unlike most things in our world, that the tin was invented before the tin opener. So sailors and soldiers and sort of thing, and this used to be a really good way of preserving food, used to store their food into these tins. And actually kept for a long time on the sea and on the travel, but they also, also had the issue of trying to open it up at the same time. So this is a technique which was used, and it's a technique I teach as well to the kids doing the bushcraft sort of thing. It's using a coarse surface like concrete or stone or brace of stone um, to do the work for you as a tin opener. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the camera angle and then we're going to look at, I'm just using the paving slabs in my garden and uh, that should be just, a good, just good enough to open this tin up with no real issues. Okay, so I've just changed the angle here. So we've now got the tin on the floor and um, basically all it is, is using a coarse surface and we have to go round and round in spiral motions. What happens, as you go round and round and round, uh, the tin will slowly start grinding itself away. It can take a, a one or two minutes to actually get it out. So all it is is just put the pressure on it and go round and round. So what it's doing is going to start separating the tin on the inside. We suddenly start seeing it's sort of getting a little bit abrasive sort of on there, so it's starting to do it, it's starting to peel it, it apart. So let's try again. Right, we start seeing now there's some juice sort of coming out of the tin. Yeah, so that's the first sort of sign to me to say it's actually it's starting to work. So now obviously we'll be a little bit careful now that I don't go all the way. So, We can see, we see on the camera view, yeah, you can see just here, there's the juices coming out of the tin, so we can see it dripping now. So I'm nearly through, yeah, nearly enough to start getting it through. You can see there, little bubbles start coming up. So at this stage you can start draining all your juices out. You can't see me. What has happened? I squeezed on it. The pressure came up all over my face. I'm now covered in um in potato water juice. Yeah, but you can see on here. Yeah, all the water can come out. So I can pour the water out. And now I've got the tin opened without actually using a tin opener. Just gonna get the rest of this juice out. And all I can do now is get some sort of yeah, some sort of way I can prise this open. Uh, because I've got all the water right now, I can carry on. Oh, because I've got all the water right now, I can carry on spinning it around. Any 
any aid, I can open it up. Or if I've got some sort of other tool, I can just get in there and lift, lever it up. So this was nice, just use a knife. Can't get it myself now. Can't get it. Here we go. I've got potatoes. Here we are. Pushed it all the way through. And now, I'll just zoom out a little bit. So I've pushed it all the way through now with my hands. And all I do now is just lift the top off. We can see there, I've got the tin opened. All the potatoes are drained. And now you're ready to eat your potatoes opened up without the aid of a tin opener. Just remember, it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight and struggle. See you next time. Bye for now.